Well, hello and welcome to this year's World Health Expo Tech right here at Dubai World Trade Center. We are connecting with none other than Dr. Roland Illing, who is the Chief Medical Officer at Amazon Web Services. Dr. Roland, it's a pleasure to have you here in Dubai. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be here and to see such a packed hall and to be here today to talk about how healthcare innovation and transformation really is sweeping the region. Now, AWS has become increasingly central to healthcare innovation. Could you please share some transformative examples of how healthcare providers are leveraging AWS's cloud infrastructure to revolutionize patient care? We work with national governments around the world to really transform the way that patients are being treated on a day-to-day -day basis. For instance, we're working with the government of the UK as the national digital backbone, the digital NHS spine, they call it, which allows data interoperability across 44,000 clinical systems in the UK to provide patient care. In Australia, we are re-platforming all of the medical services in New South Wales. And that's electronic medical records, pathology, laboratory information systems, as well as HR and finance backend. All of that is moving to the cloud. In, in the US, we work with the CDC, NIH, FDA around new drugs that are coming onto the market. So a real challenge for healthcare organizations is around security and resiliency. That's it. How do they make sure their systems stay on? And if they do go down, how do they come back really quickly? So AWS operates the most secure cloud globally, and it's also the most resilient cloud in that it goes down less often and that when it does go down, it has the less downtime. And if you're running clinical systems in production, so you're actually delivering patient care, it's really important data is available at the point of need. So security and resiliency is point one. Point two is that data is complex. And finally, we're working in the space of artificial intelligence and AI and agents. And we're trying to make these more consumable to end customers. How we, we can democratize access to AI and agents for the future. So we've launched something called Agent Core, which will allow agents to be used off the shelf. And we've launched the Health AI Hub, so end users can actually see how AI is impacting healthcare today. Organizations wanting to implement AI really need to start out with a strong data foundation. So we work with a lot of organizations on their data strategy. And that really has four elements. It's about the mindset of leadership. It's around the people. So are they trained adequately to use the technology? Are the processes in place to deliver AI? And then finally, have they got the right technology?